It is September, the first week of September. It's been Father's Day and now it's Tuesday and I'm heading back to Melbourne and Geelong. We've got our first Align event on Saturday. I've got interviews, meetings, catch-ups and a cheeky little engagement from my best friend. I uh, cannot wait for that and to celebrate their amazing relationship and the next stage in their life. So much other stuff coming up. I cannot wait to show you behind the scenes. It's gonna be epic. I'm about two hours in and uh, I've just pulled over because I've seen this field and I had to show you guys this because it's absolutely stunning. Look at this yellow field. I think it's canola. Either way, it's amazing and got my tripod. I'm going to take some photos. I'll do this 10 day challenge. And <laughs> 10 day challenge, get a 10 2 days. Yeah. Yeah. First day was Owen, going through and breakthrough, and the second day was Nick. We could do a 2 to 3 day thing, man. One workout, and you'll look like this. Yeah. Bet yes. This is this. Sorry, it's all on there, but I don't know if that's a big out for We got it. Right. So it's been a fun morning. I had a catch up with Adriana and then I had to drive all the way over to the east side of Melbourne. I've got an interview now with Lauren, uh, Laura, and um, then another interview after this, and then catching up with friends. Such a crazy day, but uh, so much goodness and a few phone calls in between as well. So enjoying this sunshine that Melbourne has to offer, but being very productive and feeling good. They're kind of like, that's the box that you meant, you know, yeah, that's the, the script, script that you meant yeah. to follow. <laughs> and everybody that I know that's tried to follow that script has wound up miserable. Mm. So ditch the script to find what makes you actually happy. And experiment, it's, there's never going to be one thing that's going to make you happy. You're going to have to change it. And I think if I ever hated, if I ever stopped enjoying coaching, I'd stop doing it. I'd just find something else mm. because life's too short. Do what makes you happy and do what you enjoy, even if it looks like it's a tough path because it's yeah. more fulfilling life is a lesson in itself yeah. and that every single thing whether it's just a car driving by you when you really get deeper and deeper and deeper with it that everything is a lesson yeah. and it can be so incredible because you know you've grown up thinking that I'm no good at anything and it's such a crazy thing when you realize that you can change anything you've ever thought mm -hmm. and that's why I am so passionate about this stuff because that that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Hey. <laughs> everyone I have to always, edit out that bite everyone did always. Not know that was coming and that was the most pathetic bite. Everyone always does like a. Because I didn't know. I didn't out. know whether it was like a individual. Yeah. Don't expect people to understand your grind or your hustle because they just don't have the same vision as you. And that was a big thing I had to learn early on because I just expected people to agree with my decisions and agree with my vision and support me. That was the biggest thing. I'm like, oh my God, like people don't just support you because you, you, you want to be successful. A lot of people try to hold you back from that because mm. they just project their crap onto you. So I stopped looking for validation or seeking validation because my vision is just completely different to someone else. And, and yeah, stop taking it personal and remove entitlement. You know, I'm not entitled to that person's support or, or success. I've got to just stay in my lane. And Just finished my first interview for the day. There's back-to-back -back meetings all day today. Um, at Urban Produce now, of course, having lunch with Joey. And then uh, two interviews, dinner with Alessandra. And then I'm not sure what's happening tonight, but so much fun. Such a good day for it. You know, FedEx is not going to turn up on your front door <laughs> yeah. and give you what you need. There is a physical component to everything that we do, you know, and it's great to do the metaphysical stuff, but notice how the word metaphysical has physical in it. Yeah. So we need to do something. You know, if we want to move from one room to another, we physically have to stand up and walk there. We can't just think about being in that other room yeah. and then all of a sudden we're there. Yeah. So there is a physical component that we must take, but we also 
need to do the inner work as well. And when we do both, that's where the magic is. Yeah. I'm a bit. Double vlog. I was like, that's a vlog. <laughs> it's a vlogception. Hey. What's up? What's happening? How are we? So. How are we? <laughs> What's come, what comes with your off cannon as well? Yeah. Why is your no. lighting so different? Um, I don't know. I don't know which one to look at. I'll look at that one. Um, waiting for the owner. <clears throat> waiting for the owner. <clears throat> to approve of us doing a podcast. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the most important relationship you have with yourself is a relationship with yourself because your friends will come and go, your family will sadly come and go, but you will never not be with yourself. Mm. And I think when I heard that for the first time, it kind of sparked everything and I was like, it's so true. Like you're always with yourself mm. and if you don't nurture that relationship... Um, or make that the relationship the most important, then you will never be happy yeah. in life. Saturday morning, meeting a friend for brunch, vegan shack, and uh, we to go to office works, so get some stuff done, and then a haircut with my man Chase in South Melbourne, and then off to the Align event, and then off to the engagement. So I don't know how this is all going to fit into this amount of time, but we'll make it. Pushing a grandpa in a wheelchair to a seat, and I was like, Oh, oh god, god. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to have a third kid. She works three days a week, but it's like, <laughs> Cool, I'm back with you. <laughs> hey, Claire. Hi. Hey, Drama. Hey, honey. This is the Melbourne, first Melbourne Align event, and we're all set up in Prana House. One week it took us to organize all this and get people here, so it's gonna be sick. We can't film, so I'll be showing you some behind the scenes stuff on my phone. $600 jacket. What? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> we just got one who was my jacket was in the way. So oh, shit. Oh, how is this? Is <laughs> <laughs> What's coming? 
So I have driven about two hours after the engagement. I've gotten to a little roadside stop, uh, like a rest area, and I've pulled over in the van and I've got everything set up and I'm going to have a cozy night in the van and then get up early and make my way back <laughs> and get back for this game. You can tell my commitment levels, so getting ready for a cozy night in all my blankets in the van. Got my one litre coffee <laughs> for the morning. Um, I need this right now. Struggling. <laughs> Four hours to go. I can do this. <sighs> coffee, coffee, coffee. And let's go. I've just got to Oyun, which is one hour away. I got myself a big sports drink, even though I don't drink this shit normally. Um, I, my body needs it <laughs> to get ready, and I might even need a Red Bull before the game. But um, one more hour, I'll get there at like 1.30, which is like enough time to go home, get my stuff, have a shower, get to the game, and start warming up. So I can't wait. I've made good time, little stops, but uh, yeah, gonna make it happen. Hey, what day is it, boys? It's trophy day today. It's trophy day. <laughs> Always cup day. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm psyched. Pumped. Yourself? I'm a bit tired, but Wally, what's going on? How you feeling, mate? Oh, fucking great, mate. Um, good goal today. Definitely. So, Ramon! <laughs> Hello, bro. What's happening? How you feeling? Oh, where's, where's my beat? Oh, where's your I think beat? I left it at home. Damn. Damn. And you guys did a fantastic job. And I'm very proud to be behind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on the boat and pretending like Joe was steering the boat. Yes, dude, I'm a captain now. I'm a skipper. <laughs> skipper and an actor. <laughs> and these, these ads keep going on, but uh, that's actor life. We've got to do it. But look how gorgeous the river and the day is today. If you haven't been to Muldura, this is the ad to come check it out. So, today is an amazing day. Look at this. It is, I don't know what the date is, it's like September 26th or something. It's Grand Final Friday and we've got our uh, three colours breakup day, kind of end of season party. We've got a barbecue and then we've got um, a houseboat for tonight, which is going to be really fun. I've got to go get drinks. I've got my costume in here, which is going to be really funny. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be super fun and I can't wait to keep you guys updated all day. So it's grand final weekend, we've got our dress ups for um, our soccer party and this is my outfit, Alan, baby Carlos. And no word of a lie, I've been out and seen everyone. <laughs> Nathaniel's got the same thing on, didn't even plan this, so this is going to be hilarious. I'm going to film their reactions. <laughs> hey Nathaniel! Yo. It wasn't planned. Oh, <laughs>
That means you two have to do shit. <laughs> You're fucked. All that. You're, You're joking. joking. It wasn't even, it wasn't even planned. <laughs> and we're both <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Upset City. Who? Upset City. <laughs> Who? Oh, city. Oh, what city? What city is that? Oh, oh, hey, what are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing in my car? <laughs>